good morning poo poos how are y'all today i hope y'all doing marvelous um i'm just gonna try to make today a little like kind of like an update vlog um it's currently um 10 or 9 and i'm headed out to work um but before work i decided to just do a little kind of um update on how i'm feeling um you know saturday i gave y'all a little vlog of my nephew's birthday but then i realized i haven't really just sat down and been like oh this is how i'm feeling this is how i'm doing um yeah y'all gonna get the vlogs later than what they are because I, I know i'm not gonna post this one today you know because i haven't even did the post from uh saturday so i know i'm not gonna be able to post this today um hopefully when you get it it's within a week so probably next to next monday <laughs> got it <laughs> got it <laughs> And, um, like I said, I just want to get on here and give you guys an update. Um, this week is actually my last week at my job. Um, a lot of my coworkers don't really know that. I've only told, like, a handful, literally, because I wanted to take, like, a quiet exit. And so, um, yeah, this is my last week at the job. Like I said, this is my first job, y'all. And so, like, it's kind of bittersweet, but I know it's time that I go somewhere else. Um, and then, not to mention, um, my sister kind of dropped a bomb on me yesterday but i'll reveal that as days go on um when i decide what i want to do and so yeah it's just a lot of things are about to be different and i'm just trying to get a plan together but at the same time make sure that i am um following what god has for me like i think that's the real challenge that's going to be going on instead of trusting what i know i'm really just going to have to trust the lord and it's kind of hard because you don't like he sees it but we don't see it when we don't see our future like with me i get a little wait a minute i need to know you know and sometimes he doesn't give give us everything when we want to know it and so like that's what i'm trying to deal with y'all already know how this go your girl ain't got no little amount and like the way my car set up if i could prop y'all up i would but i can't because my car it ain't gone y'all not gonna be able to see me so this is real ghetto so we just gonna have to hold it in my hand way better than what i was feeling it's just that i don't know for some reasons i was like me getting used to the fact that he's really 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 not gonna be around this time like there's no friendship no nothing um and that kind of hurts my feelings when i think about it still um because like i said we had our differences but he was literally my best friend like I loved him and I still love him but it's just like all right you know I got to learn, love to learn him from a distance and so with that on top of me um about to leave the job and about to leave the people that I have gotten to know for almost two years like literally my last day is 19 y'all and when I started working it was uh January 20th two years ago so um literally almost exactly two years was i working at the job and so um i got to know these people you know and even though like everybody's not perfect and some people had some messed up ways um but they still were decent people like i learned to love them for who they were and so being that i won't be able to see them every day and the current circumstance of my situation i don't know where it was about to go oh it kind of hurts me because like then i i won't even be able to go hey you know say hey or whatever um so yeah it's kind of it's a lot but i know i'll be okay and i'm just trying to trust him and i trust myself knowing that he won't put more on me than I can bear but like I said my feelings I think what the most part is just my feelings just still, just still a little hurt um like I said I'm not as heartbroken just my feelings are a little hurt at this point and so I feel like if that's the case then you know we over the biggest hurdle you know um so yeah and then I'm waiting on my best friend to get back because I'm like all right I know I had to go through part of this alone, but your girl, your girl needs you to come back now. 
Like you can come, you can come back home. You can come back home. Yeah, but other than that, you guys, I don't know that I don't know. Like I said, eventually I'll be able to share um, the news with y'all. But I want to share the news with y'all after I've made my decision on what I want to do. Um, and so then I can take you guys on that journey um, for that. Um, but until then, I'm just going to be like, all right. <laughs> Update y'all on how I, I'm feeling and how I'm going through this healing process. And so, like, that's another thing. Um, so, like, of course, I've started um, editing the video about my daddy, um, but I haven't quite made it through the video because I keep getting distracted or, like, it's, or just, you know, it gets, it gets a little tedious because that's a long video, and I didn't realize how hard it is to edit long videos because I thought my little 15 minute videos was something but these videos because like my dad's video is like 45 minutes and I'm having to go cut through cut out crying and stuff like that and y'all it's ooh, it's a lot so and I'm not to mention I'm doing this from a phone and it's like really tedious because my phone screen isn't that big and I'm like um bless me up please so yeah Well, like I said, as I reflected over that that video, um, and just like me, as I was telling all the videos, I was able to hear what I was saying out loud, and it kind of reached it back to me. And so, um, I was like, okay, you know, I can see where I was wrong, or where I might have been a little bit too sensitive, or maybe I was overreacting, you know. Or maybe need to calm down or something. I can see myself to where I was doing it. And so that was able that I like I used that in order to help me. Oh, I'm sorry, I hope y'all was gonna me. I used that in order to help me like be like, okay. Okay, you know, just breathe. Bring it back. <laughs> but yeah. So your girl is managing the best she can. Um, and like, I'm at work now. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. All right, so you guys, I am finally off. Um, and I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Like, I was better in spirit before. But like, the, enemy, the devil is really busy. And it's... It's starting to, I'm trying to be a bigger person, but he knows exactly how to tip you and what to tip you. And like, it's really unfair because I'm not saying that you're a perfect person, but trying to figure out. And it, what it really is, is y'all, like I told y'all in the videos before, I'm such a person with such a big heart and um, it's hard to understand why or just to realize that everybody isn't isn't having been raised like you they're not like you like y'all not the same and so you just have to understand that the people not gonna do you how you do other people and there's really nothing you can do about it i've come to the conclusion that your closure doesn't come from other people it comes from you and god and so I've never been a person who's really gotten closure or been able to have just a, a sit-down conversation or anything like that. Um, and it sucks, especially when it's a person that you care so much about and they act as if they care so much about you. Um, but it's okay. Um, like I said, we getting through this together. We getting through this together. And so it wouldn't be right for me to... Um, tell you guys that we're going through this together and for me to show y'all all the good times and not the down times or when I start the question so like I said this is me being vulnerable um I'll be okay um yeah like I told y'all early it still it hurts it still hurts um but it's okay but we'll be okay 
um, because eventually we'll, when I say me and y'all, we'll, we'll get to the point to where it won't hurt as bad and then it won't hurt at all. And so you just have to keep holding on until you get to the point, that point, and just, you know, well, not just holding on, but just processing and getting through it. Just understanding that it's just you and the good Lord, and sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes that's all you have. So you just gotta continue to speak positivity in yourself. You just gotta continue to to not let people to to not let people make you come out of character. And if you do, to catch yourself before it gets worse. And then to forgive yourself for coming out of character. Because, like, honestly, that's what I almost did today. I almost came out of character. And then I was upset because I acted on instinct. But I had to understand that I am hurt. Or I'm understanding that I am hurt. And I've, I've been put in, in a messed up situation. And so... I just got to learn. We got to learn to take the cards that we were dealt. And to just continue to push forth um, the best way we can. The best way we know how. And just one thing that I had to learn, especially like the first week after. The last incident happened. Is to just feel. And of course, I didn't get to share that with y'all because I was still recording the um I was still recording the the videos the story times I was still coming to terms with things and so um that's what I had to do that's what I'm still doing just feeling what I feel and be like okay I feel like this today and it sucks and I'm hurt or this happened today and it pissed me off and I was really really mad um, and then you have to be like okay it's okay it happened what happened happened and just let that be what that is um cause like I said it sucks and I'm in a messed up a messed up situation and you would never think that people would do this like you know, do this to you and I've just been trying to have so much understanding lately as to like why you know and so I think that's been the hardest thing and not letting myself feel bad because I'm you know thinking why but at the same time not just dwelling on it either um i think that's one of the most important things when you mess up you have to learn to forgive yourself because we can be the ones that eat ourselves up the most sometimes before anybody else can attack us before anybody else can hurt us we hurt ourselves because we become disappointed or whatever else or whatever else i'm just trying to hold on just trying to continue to be positive just trying to check my anger because I have a lot a lot of anger built up um and sometimes like I get mad at myself for doing that or being so angry but at the same time um it's almost like it's okay to be angry like I keep telling y'all um I gotta keep telling myself like just because I feel this certain type of feeling, it's okay to feel, it's okay to do that. But what's not okay is to lash out because of that and just try to take that energy and channel it somewhere else. And I think that has been my biggest struggle. Um, and it's probably been my biggest struggle all my life. And so, now I'm just trying to to get to a point to where I can channel it properly, come into terms with it, and 
to be like, okay, this is what I feel. This is what I feel. Making sure that I continuously keep my emotions in check so that I'm not lashing out on anybody else because I'm angry at something else. Or that I'm not even, you know, being upset with that person. We're just trying to continuously kill people with kindness. Um, in the process of allowing God to um, heal me. And so, like I said, it's not going to be easy. It's not easy for me. It's not going to be easy for y'all. Um, but you got to do it. Um, especially because I know that if you're watching this, if you're paying attention to this, if you're really truly engaged, then you really want to be healed. And so in order for you to, from, for you to be healed from all things, you have to um, correct yourself and come to terms with everything and be honest. A lot of times we'll never understand why we go through the things that we go through or why somebody treated us the way that they did. But the best thing we can do is find a lesson in it. Um, and that helps to put it in more of a positive perspective. That helps to, um, to make it easier um, to reflect on, to look at. But it's not gonna be an overnight process. So yeah. I don't think I'm going to check back in for this vlog. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here. And, you know, I hope you guys are managing as best as you can. Um, I hope you haven't let, I hope you haven't let life eat you up um, or cause you to be evil. But that you just truly just find the healing. Yeah. I hope you get to a point to where things are hurt you.